What the hell have I got myself into? Hey guys, Bill Cimatel from the BBZ TV. I got called out to come down to San Diego with Stan Kaplan. And we're going to sit in a piece of plywood. A 4x8 boat. That's the boat sitting in the back in the F-150. 7 foot skiff? 7 foot skiff. 7 foot skiff and he thinks he's, I'm going to get in there with him. We're going to do some top water rat fishing in the bay. In the bay. And we're going to see what happens. So we're out here early. We're trying to uh, hit uh, tides. Like you guys know, I've said it, said it in the shark fishing. High tide, low tide, switch. And basic concept, looking for flats, humps, ridges, creek channels, points. Same thing we do bass fishing. We're going to go out here and try to find some of this stuff in the bay and uh, see if we can catch some fish. So stand by. We're going to get this thing, walk it down to the water and get out. So let's see what happens today. Hey guys, we're out here in San Diego. Um, on the BBZ, basically with the rat, is I'm still experimenting with the different rod choices. Um, I started off with some Lama Glass and a TFO, but I went out, picked up a new Cousins Ray's rod. Um, I'm going to give it a try. Today's going to be the first uh, field test on it. We're going to pull this out of the package, um, put a Shimano 300 with a 65 pound uh, Maxima braid on it. And we're going to give it a world. So you guys are going to actually see this uh, field tested today out on the water. And uh, we'll have a little review on it. So see how this works right here. We got the Ray's Rod RSWB97H Heavy PT. Extra heavy. And uh, man, that's a... It's a nice, nice feeling looking rod. We're going to put a 300 on it. <coughs> yeah, that's a nice looking rod right there. That should work. Jack's out of that box. There's a present for you. Oh, wow. <coughs> Stan's got one of only two of the BBZ Chrome. Basically, I like chrome. You know what it is? It's a chameleon because it reflects everything that's around it. So if a big right. halibut comes up to it, it's going to see its reflection. It looks fishy. And sometimes that, uh, that sets some uh, fish off for bringing them up. You know, around grass, it'll kind of turn green. It just, it's, it's a chameleon. It basically takes in its surrounding. And sometimes that natural look right. really triggers some fish. This is awesome. Thank you very much, Bill. I think that might do it. Cousin, raised rod, Shimano 300E, 65 pound Maxima braid, and the Spro BBZ1 rat in chrome. And Stan's going to use the black and red that he's been destroying them on. And then we're going to uh, we're going to go out here in the the bay and go look for some cover and structure elements. And okay, now I'm going to get in this boat. Yes, you are. Oh Lord. Yes, you are. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm taking my time. Trust me, I'm taking my time. Okay. I feel like Popeye in that little boat. This is crazy. You know, we're serious. When we come out here, we're only coming out with two baits. A silver rat and a black rat. And we'll see if we catch something. And I might do some trolling as we go looking around for stuff. Let's see what this bait looks like in the water. Oh yeah, I think that's going to, uh, that will catch a Corvina and a halibut. Now you're serious, we're going to catch a halibut. That's the plan, Bill. We're going to try to catch a halibut, we're okay. We're going to catch a legal halibut at that. Okay. <clears throat> Just looking for boilers. Ooh, listen to that puppy knock. Oh, got nice. him! Got nice. him! Slow roll, nice. slow rolling, nice. slow will rolling the little rat. Well, that didn't take long. What do we got here? Oh, a nice little Corvina. Nice, oh, just unbutton. Oh no. That's okay. That's okay. Very nice. Okay, and that's to keep cruising and... Very nice. 
Who's cast? Did I just get a halibut on the rat? <laughs> that thing just came up and scared the bejeebies out of me. Look at yeah. I got oh yeah. I got me a flatty <laughs> with the rat, baby. Oh, you know what? This is scary, but this is a pretty stout halibut, man. I just got a flatty on this. It's going to... Whenever you're ready, bring him over. Oh, I just got him one hook. Flatty on the ratty. Flatty on the ratty. I'm just taking my time. <laughs> I got... The flatty, look at that. Let me get, no, 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 he's barely hooked, dude. He's got to unbutton. Dude, just caught a friggin'. Watch your Watch your No, 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 let him down. You got it? I got a good grip on his tail. Dude, we just friggin' got a halibut. 25. 26. Go that way just to here. Right there. 27. Almost 28. Dude. That was bitching, dude. <laughs> so awesome. Such an explosion. So glad I took him to the shitty spot, not the good spot, so you can only catch one and not a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> that is a rat eating fool. Look at that. Halibut on the rat. Okay. <laughs> BBC one rat, baby. Halibut off the top. Nice. Just slow rolling it. Nice. And, uh, I'm watching your bait. I'm watching your bait behind us, and uh, something come up. It feels like a corvina. Nice. Is that a corvina on a rat? That's what it looks like to me, Bill. No way. That's what it looks like to me, Bill. That's a corvina yeah. on a rat. <laughs> Very nice, sir. You're up here. Corvina on a rat. Let's get that right there. Right out. There you go. Corvina. Turn her sideways flat. Oops. Oh. Uh-oh. That's all right. Oh, there, there you go. Ha-ha. <laughs> later, buddy. Now, maybe somebody doesn't want to just fish rat because they don't like rats. But... Right, right. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, God, that nice. thing. Dude. Nice. Dude, that thing, I took one. What are you talking about, man? Oh, I took one little That's wind with it and a friggin'. The friggin' thing just crushed it. I was just talking about how rats in the salt water, they swim, they could be <laughs> going left or back. Oh, this is too funny. <laughs> <clears throat> this new cousin rod, man, I got this nice little uh, light, it's got a light tip on it. Um, so it loads up really nice. Not a huge Corvina, but guess what? There's another one nice. on the rat, baby. Now the Corvina on the rat. Look at that thing. Here, hold it one second. Get the grass off of it. Yeah, we got to do some doctoring in a friggin' seven foot piece of plywood boat. Turn it flat. There you go. Corvina. Look at that thing. They're eating like, maybe they think it's a little baby Corvina. Cool. Okay. Let's do that again. <clears throat> yeah, I just, I threw it out there. <coughs> Hit the surface. 
and I just I took about three or four cranks just nice steady across the surface and that thing just came up and the real cool thing about this bait <clears throat> back in the day for, for top water it's the thump and if you can get a nice steady cadence with that ball in there that knock Man, some of that just drives them crazy. Yeah, you know what? I like this uh, this cousin's rod right here. This rave. It has it has just a light enough tip <coughs> for it's a topwater rod. I mean, it, this is perfect for the rat. A little bit long in one aspect, but man, it is it is really performing well with the Shimano 300. And it's definitely got backbone. I mean, I could picture stick on pig on this. And oh, there's another one. <laughs> there's another one. Oh, oh, that one pulling drag nice on that one. one. Oh yeah. D on the rat again. Just ooh, this one's pulling drag, dude. This nice might be a little rally. bit. No, it, it's a Corvine. Nice. I saw, I saw it come up and eat it. Dude, just slow rolling it. Just slow rolling across the surface. And. Uh, Thing's got a little bit more weight, unless I got it snagged in the back of the head or something. You think that crumb works there, Stan? Sure looks like it does, Bill. <laughs> Might have to or, it, or is it just the rat? <laughs> Could be a little bit of both. But uh, I might have to switch it up and join you with that chrome very soon. Well, this cousin's rod is definitely a playa. And what do we got down there? Little bit bigger Corvina. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice little bit a bigger. Little more size to that one. We're gonna uh Yeah, that's a nice one. So we're not we're not uh Stan and I are both firm believers of catch and release. Absolutely. We're not gonna mess with these real quick. We're just gonna we're gonna try to unbutton this in the water or however we can without getting hooked as we're sitting in this two by four. Yeah, piece of two by four. But it floats? It floats barely. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that bend in the rod. You know, it's, it's, I like the rod. It, yeah. it's, it's really, it's got some bends, gives, especially for a top water. That's a nice Corvina, dude. So don't, we don't even have to worry about getting them in if you can unbutton them. I have to get a measurement on them. Just out of curiosity. You want to do that, Bill? Sure, time? sure. We'll get, yeah, absolutely. Back off the drag a little bit. Okay, I'm free spooling. Perfect, Dan. Got 22, right? 23. 23 inch Corvina. Look at that teeth on that thing. On the Spro BBZ1 rat. Flat. There you go. Nice. Look at those teeth. Look at that. This thing. Chewy, chewy. <laughs> right there. Beautiful. Yeah. Pearl, let's try to get another one. Sorry guys for the missed strike. We're sitting oh, here man. and I'm just I'm just barely slow rolling. I'm slow rolling this. Hold on. Yeah, one that's it, right? <clears throat> one one time put that's it. Did it come on? Yeah, it's on. So I was slow rolling um, the chrome BBZ and we're sitting here talking and this fish. So I missed the hit, but we got a nice little uh oh a little Corvina. Oh, I'm gonna just flip them in, man. Yeah, you can flip them. Let me get this. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at the chompers in that thing. That's what four now? That's the fourth one. That's four just kicking my ass. Throwing it, throwing out. We're throwing out um, what we're on. We're on a flat. The flat. We're probably sitting now in about five to eight foot of water, and I'm just throwing out over the flat and uh, slow rolling it in and. Uh, that there's a channel through here that the uh, the bait's running and uh, we're just we're hitting one spot and then we're moving down and hitting another spot and we see the birds dropping we go fish the birds and so we just keep jumping around looking for uh, good structure elements and uh, man these fish all the Corvina right now hitting this is just uh, just slow rolling slow rolling it Okay, we're good on that. Nice. That's a pretty, look at the blue in oh, that stuff. Go. That's a cool little fish, dude. 
Yeah. Short another Corvina. one. Another one on the BBZ Rat. Okay. Nice. Dude, these are small fish that are hitting this yeah. bait. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> I was. We were. I just threw out. I'm sitting there. We're. Stan and I are talking, and we're just like, oh, holy do, and I'm just slow rolling on the surface, and this thing come up and shoot it, and we're uh, in between tides right now. Um, we got a high tide coming in probably another two hours, and we're just sitting here kind of BSing and telling fish stories. So it pays to keep throwing every once in a while. Pretty, it's like a trophy, man. Yeah. The zombie, the chameleon, man. When the fish comes up, it changes to what that fish looks like. Oh! 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 Yeah, Everybody clear? Everybody clear. <laughs> You're good. You are good. Pretty. Look it. It looks like a vampire. Okay. There you go, bud. Another one. Now that is five fish, right? That is five fish. You know what's pretty impressive? That was five blow-ups and five good hooks. That's hook. five for five. I know. That's five for five. I told you, this hookup ratio is absurd. It's one thing to... I mean, you tested it on oh, yeah, largemouth for the majority, right? No, that's everything. Yeah, but I know yeah. <coughs> getting the, the hooks, the, the way they lay and the, the way they roll around the body and the bite, it's all about a bite on a yeah, hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I knew... When you lift up one of these baits and you see where that front hook, it comes down as far as it can by the square bill. Right. So when you're rolling it up over stumps, it's weedless. But once you stop it, once the fish hits it, all those hooks drop down and come to the yeah. side. And it's just yeah. all, there's nothing but hooks. So, yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of stuff in there. I mean, if you look at this, when you put this like this and you go to the front. Right. See the tips of the hooks yeah. are right, but they won't go over by themselves. Huh? See that? Yeah. So, but when a fish hits it, then next thing you know, I mean, you're getting, you're getting the hooks. I mean, there's like I said, there's so much for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't, you don't want the hooks short enough where they come around the bill and they stick on the bill. You want them to free swing and clear themselves every time. And but you don't want them too long to where they're going over the bill. Yeah, if if they're too long, the they'll hook the well they're too long it's not much of the bill but you could foul hook the main line but the biggest thing is is they hook the back hook right they hook each other yeah so yeah. once they marry i mean yeah. you you've just you've ruined that you know you've you've you you throw out a cast and you come in one or two times with them married and you're like uh your heart sinks every time you throw yeah. it because yeah. you're going if i get bit there's a big chance i'm yeah. not catching them and i think that's what's wrong with like 90 percent of the you know, rat baits out right, there is right is people haven't really paid attention to the size and the amount of hooks they need and placement. We've done good. We've got five uh, Corvina in the in the boat, or if I guess we can call this the boat. We got five Corvina in the bucket, and then uh, we need to get. Oh! Oh! I saw that! Oh, he's telling me to spin. Tell me he's swimming towards me. Oh, oh. Wow, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's that nice thing fish. just totally that's grenaded. Nice. Hold on, let me pull it in. Oh yeah. Nah, that thing just oh, absolutely yeah. <laughs> friggin' grenaded that oh, yeah. thing. He was all but mad. Oh yeah. All but mad. Oh yeah. That's six Corvina on the rat. That's a nice Corvina, buddy. Oh yeah. You're gonna lift? You're crazy. Oh yeah. That's how we do it. It's a one-tooth vampire, man. <clears throat> dude, you swang into that like oh, Babe Ruth, right dude. <clears throat> Look at that. that. Nice. 
Nice. Oh yeah. Good job, bud. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Stands on the board. Finally. Dude, that Put thing just <laughs> was mad yeah. at it, dude. Oh yeah. And it's on the black and red too. That was on the black and red. That thing was <clears throat> that was all over but the shouting on that one, buddy. Good job, man. Yes, sir. Hey guys, the uh, day's kind of winding up. Uh, Stan and I came out here, and uh, <clears throat> just to recap, we're doing nothing crazy. We're looking for structure elements. Uh, Stan's been out here on this, this piece of water for quite a while, and he's you're finding flats that drop off into like creek channels or uh, guts and stuff. <clears throat> and we're getting these fish to come up anywhere, maybe from five to 15 foot of water, depending on the tide. Um, low tide, we're getting them in five, six maybe. <clears throat> High tide, man, I mean, I know we were over 15 foot of water um, with some of the Corvina. Um, bitching thing, I did the uh, field testing for the Cousins rod, and I'm really, really impressed with this, throwing the rat. Um, model is RSWB79HPT, so it's a 79 extra heavy. This thing can throw two to six ounces. It wings that rat out there the bbz1 rats um, all day long never had a problem and it has a really nice soft tip when these corvina were smashing it they're pretty much hooking themselves and uh then the rod would load up so i know i can i could put some juice to some big big fish on this but uh really impressed with this rod out on the thing um want to thank stan man that we've been out here all day long you won't see a lot of different angles because i don't know if you can see it but we're sitting <laughs> We're sitting in a seven foot boat, two guys. And um, it's, it's just crazy, <laughs> crazy, whatever needs to be done to get out on the water. And uh, we've done it. So, But I want to thank Stan for bringing me out. He challenged me to drive from Cass Steak for three and a half hours all the way down here this morning and and uh, had a great day. The biggest thing is also <clears throat> this uh, the new chrome colored BBZ1 Rat. Um, I pretty much call it like a chameleon because it absorbs the colors around it. Um, the Corvina come up on it or you throw them by kelp or grass or anything. Um, it sucks in the colors and I tell you there's, there's moments where it really produces. But as we go into the evening, um, I'm going to switch out and I'm going to put on the morning dawn. And I'm going to put a little bit more, a better silhouette out there as we get into dark. I'm going to film as long as we can, but <clears throat> I want to definitely thank Stan. Um, you have anything to say, buddy? Just want to thank you, Bill, <laughs> for giving me the opportunity to fish with you. Oh, oh, listen to, listen I've, to had, this. I've had a hell of a time. I'm glad <laughs> we were able to get on some fish. And yeah, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, we still get a couple more before it's all said and done. Yeah, so. I, you, we might go into the dark. <clears throat> I'm afraid because we're like a, <laughs> I'm a big piece of meat on a little teeny cracker, and I'm afraid a great white is going to come up and eat me. Um, <laughs> Guys, this is a really seriously a small boat. I cannot emphasize. It's like standing on a, a friggin' paddle board, um, but you can't really stand on it. So, I want to thank everybody for uh, joining us here at the BBZ TV today, and uh, keep watching. I got I got some really cool videos coming out as we go, and uh, I'm definitely if this guy calls me out to come back up to catch uh, catch more fish, I'm definitely coming back up here. So, you guys take care, and we'll catch you next time out on the water.